Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to uh, Wednesday night. It is the Earth Master out here, about 10, 18 p.m. here, California time. June 26, 2024. Latest earthquake activity shows a 3.2 uh, down across the Middle America Trench there. Also did see some activity here just off the central coast here uh, with a 3.2 in the mountain range here north of the San Luis Obispo area. Uh, not really associated with any specific fault system. Maybe at the southern end of the San uh, Gregorio fault zone. Five kilometers deep there for that quake. Either way, still a sign of uh, earthquake activity on somewhat of a heightened event out here across the uh, west coast. Further inland, uh, you've got the typical activity that we're seeing here throughout the day today. In the typical zone, San Jacinto Fault Zone, and a little bit up here on the Homestead Valley Fault. A little fracture zone up there. Further out and about, uh, not a whole lot throughout Northern California. Nothing going on here through the Cascadia Subduction Zone. But uh, let's just double check that. See what we got here for the latest trimmer event. 459 epicenters of trimmer. A split between the Vancouver Island ranges here and the Southern Oregon area. Seen uh, 459 epicenters of trimmer. So nothing major, but still an uptick here over the past month. Uh, quite a bit more than what we've seen here since about 2022, the end of 2022. Uh, thank you for, uh, someone pointed out here the... Uh, Mount Adam seismograph station up here. Someone sent me an email here recently. I appreciate that. I was wondering why we couldn't get any uh, seismograph stations out here across Mount Adams area, but there is one here. I don't, I don't know why I didn't see this earlier. Uh, Stagman Ridge area. I was just kind of curious about the Mat Mount Adams area as far as any earthquake activity goes because there's really not a whole lot in terms of uh, being up there across the area of the summit region, but uh, this is about the only the one that they have up here across this volcano there in the Washington area of Mount, uh, Mount Adams region. But I appreciate the email. I definitely appreciate the uh, viewer um, reaction out here. A couple earthquakes out there in the uh, western areas of Yellowstone National Park earlier this morning. But let's just go ahead and take a look see what we got here in the last couple hours does look like uh, the wind event has calmed down. That's going to be the dark uh, blue colored lines out here. Showed up pretty nicely there from that 40 to 50 mile per hour winds that came through the area today. As far as local seismic activity goes, well, that was earlier this morning here. Since then, it uh, doesn't look like there's a whole lot playing out there across Yellowstone National Park. Pretty quiet. Pretty quiet for a super volcano, and that's good. Uh, in the Texas area, 3.4. Earlier this afternoon, outside of the Westbrook area, fairly uh, shallow. Well, it's about three kilometers deep out, deep out here in the Snyder oil fields. A lot of oil fields out here in the Permian Basin. A lot of earthquake activity as well. Rest of the country, those earthquakes noted this morning. Really not a whole lot of change out there. Uh, this area of interest up here across the uh, Alaska area. Watching for a potential six-pointer out here because it does seem like we get at least two six-pointers out here um, every year or so. And uh, we haven't seen one yet this year, but uh, it looks like things may be building up out here across the Aleutian Trench with a couple little earthquakes here in this area of interest. We'll definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, further out into the Pacific, Mauna Loa. Goodness, what's going on up here at Mauna Loa? A little bit of earthquake activity here. Uh, nothing major, about six kilometers or so for earthquake activity there for a handful of earthquakes. Uh, across the Kilauea volcano, about the same thing. Let's see what we got here for the latest information from the USGS volcano site here. Let's see if anything is of uh, notable mention. Let's see, of course, we've been watching uh, the deformation data here across the Kilauea volcano go up and down. Uh, but overall, the last month or so in terms of inflation has been a big time up. And, of course, we are still at our highest level since 2018, since the last eruption out there, there on the East Rift Zone. So things are uh, uh, they're getting somewhat elevated, right? Got to think about that. How much more can it handle out there? That's a good question. 
So we have to continue to watch that. That's obviously an area we need to watch for uh, some uh, activity here soon. All right, uh, further out here across the uh, Tonga area and New Zealand southward, getting uh, a little bit of earthquake movement in the three range across the area. Got some newer clustering going on here across the Philippines southward. Latest earthquake of 3.7 here across the Japan Trench, or the uh, Java Trench, excuse me, up here across this area. The Japan Trench, pretty quiet up there. But uh, as you can see there on the Earthquake 3D Globe, uh, quite the clustering going on here across this area. A little bit of movement across the China area. And it uh, looks like all that deeper activity in the uh, Afghanistan area led to uh, quite a bit of uptick here across Turkey and the uh, region further east here around the Caspian Sea seeing some earthquake activity as well. 4.1, fairly shallow earthquake out here. Um, there's a deeper activity into the Afghanistan area. This is well west of there, so that's not really of any concern. But uh, definitely seeing a little bit of uptick here across the Mediterranean area. Did have an earthquake up here across Germany earlier this evening as well. 4.2 coming in, a rather odd earthquake up there. Uh, it does look like it's on the uh, yeah Germany side of the border. Uh, further out uh, across the Atlantic Ocean, got a handful of earthquakes up north and south here in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. But aside from that, uh, it does appear like things are getting uh, a little bit active out here. Right now, there's not a whole lot of large-scale movement, but uh, we're noticing some various areas of uptick out here across the across the uh, plates. As far as uh, space weather activity goes, uh, well, ah, goodness, I wish I could say we're looking at some X flare with uh, Earth-directed CME, but that's not happening out here. Uh, latest activity does show some C flare activity stirring up here, C 1.8. And, um, you know, there's there's a, a bunch of sunspots out here across the Earth-facing side of the sun. But uh, this area down here, our old friend, it looks as though we need to lay that out to pasture here. You know, there's an old saying, you know, when it's done, it's done. It does look like 3723 here is, uh, it's about had it. So I don't really see anything else out there uh, with 37, uh, 3723 that's going to be... Uh, of any concern it does look like it's continuing to turn to dust well in this case just turn to uh uh an old sunspot far as any uh major other sunspots out here uh well i i can't say with certainty that there's anything of it major interest out here you had to twist my arm or if you did twist my arm, I guess, <laughs> maybe this area out here on the far eastern limb. This is going to be sunspot number 3729. That does look like it's growing a little bit out here. 3729 shows that uh, it's a beta structure and growing. Uh, they do have 3723 here with a beta gamma delta. Um, showing that's declining here. And that's obvious, but uh, that... The structure of that has just faded off from a beta gamma delta. So I'm glad they updated this because this morning it showed that it was growing and it's not growing. It's decaying and it's sad to see because that was a source of, you know, obviously many X flares here recently and the last month's historic aurora event. So it's sad to see that sunspot go, but hey, you know, you can only be a star for so long out there literally all right um let's see what we got here no major roars in the forecast does look like there's a g1 class storm but we checked this out earlier we're just going to barely get a, a glancing blow from this uh, cme here on the late 28th to early june 29th time period utc time not really expecting much to be honest folks i don't even think it's going to hit us but they are putting out this little forecast here for a g1 class storm uh, right now, the Aurora forecast out there, pretty minimal. Um, I think that's about it, folks. I'm going to jump off here, keep this update kind of short. There's really not a whole lot of major activity right now. Mount St. Helens all the way down to Orlinda, California, all look pretty quiet. We've got the Mendocino Station up here is now uh, up. Up here is right now. And uh, I think on that note, I'm going to call it a night, folks. 
Hope everyone has a uh, wonderful day out there or a wonderful evening. And uh, we'll see you guys back out here for the Thursday morning update. Take care, folks. Stay safe.